What if a single $200 billion food ingredient is shrinking our brains and making us dumber? This ingredient is hidden in many foods from your salad dressing to your snacks, and its effects could be far worse than you imagine. As a listener, you're probably wondering what this mysterious ingredient is, why it's so prevalent, and what it's doing to our health and intelligence. Today, we'll explore how something that started as an industrial lubricant evolved into one of the most widely used cooking ingredients, an ingredient that might be robbing us of our brain power. Prepare to dive into the shocking history, the science, and the truth behind these oils that are likely in your pantry right now. Picture this. In the 1930, a Polish farmer came to Canada with a plant that produced a unique type of seed. These seeds were known for their use in producing oil that was excellent for lubricating heavy machinery. During World War II, Canada ramped up production of this oil to lubricate ship engines, but after the war ended, there was no longer a need for such vast amounts of industrial lubricant. Left with an abundance of these seed-producing plants, manufacturers decided to find a new use for them. The result? They began selling this oil to the public as a cooking product. Thus, canola oil entered the food supply. But here's where things get concerning. To extract just one tablespoon of oil, you need a staggering 70,000 seeds. The process to turn these seeds into oil involves a long industrial journey. High pressure to force out the oil, a second extraction using harsh solvents, then washing, bleaching, and finally steam injection to remove the unpleasant odors. This wasn't an oil meant for human consumption, yet it became marketed as a healthy cooking oil. Today, these seed oils, often labeled as vegetable oils, are the most commonly used cooking oils in the world. But what does that mean for us? Seed oils contain a type of fat that for 99% of human history, we never ate in such large amounts. These fats, primarily linoleic acid, are now making up about 720 of the calories in the average American diet. Imagine that, every day, hundreds of calories come from a food ingredient that our ancestors would have barely recognized. Now the human brain is composed of nearly 60% fat. So, could it be that this massive change in the types of fats we consume is affecting our brain's structure and function? It's not just a theory, there's evidence to support it. For example, in the late 1970, researchers noticed a decline in children's IQ scores in Massachusetts. Kids were more distractible, hyperactive, and impulsive. The researchers couldn't pinpoint the cause, but they knew something was impacting brain development. Around the same time, something else had already been causing havoc on human brains, tetrethyl lead, an additive used in gasoline since the 1920. Lead was pumped into the air damaging children's brains and causing a drop in IQ. By the 1970s, leaded gasoline began to be phased out, and IQ scores started to rise again. But that rise didn't last long. By the mid-2010, Norwegian researchers found that IQ scores were once again starting to decline for men born after 1975. Similar trends were observed in countries like Denmark, the Netherlands, and even the United States. Dr. Michael Crawford, a leading expert on brain nutrition, warns that we're on a dangerous path. The very foods we eat could be reversing human brain evolution. But how? Let's rewind millions of years. The human brain didn't just grow by chance. It grew because of the food we ate. Our ancestors' brains exploded in size around 2 million years ago, far ahead of other primates. Scientists have debated for decades what triggered this growth. Was it hunting, cooking, the introduction of a new nutrient into our diet? One theory is that early humans began eating more seafood, a food source rich in a critical fat called DHA, or docosahexaenoic acid. DHA is essential for brain growth and function. Unlike land animals which don't provide much DHA, seafood is packed with this brain-boosting fat. In fact, studies have shown that primates, including monkeys, who were fed a high DHA diet for years, developed brains that started looking structurally similar to human brains. But here's where it gets troubling. The modern food supply is filled with cheap processed oils like corn oil, soybean oil, and canola oil, which are high in linoleic acid. Linoleic acid competes with DHA for incorporation into brain cells, essentially pushing out the good fat that your brain needs, so the more linoleic acid we consume, the less DHA our brain cells can use which could be shrinking our brains and making us quite literally dumber. Let's look at a real-world example. Japan. Japan consistently ranks as one of the highest IQ countries in the world. They consume a diet rich in seafood and seaweed, giving them a much higher intake of DHA. In contrast, Americans who eat far more linoleic acid and less DHA are falling behind. 
Could this dietary difference be why American IQ scores have stagnated or even declined? Michael Crawford believes that maintaining a high level of DHA and low linoleic acid in the diet is key to sustaining a healthy functioning brain. The problem is that linoleic acid is everywhere. It's not just in cooking oil, it's in processed foods, snacks, mayonnaise, and salad dressings. Even infant formula is loaded with it. If you want to protect your brain health, start by cutting back on these vegetable oils. Swap them for oils rich in DHA, like fish oil or even grass-fed animal fats. Eating fatty fish such as salmon or sardines a few times a week can go a long way in boosting your DHA levels. The decline in IQ might not just be happening due to oils, but other factors too. One of the most concerning correlations has been the rise of autism spectrum disorders. Research indicates that high levels of linoleic acid in a pregnant mother's diet are linked to more symptoms of autism in her child by age 6. This startling connection suggests that we need to take a much closer look at what pregnant women are eating and how much linoleic acid is in their diet. Studies have also found that excess linoleic acid in children's diets is associated with more ADHD-like symptoms, reduced attention span, impulsiveness, and difficulty learning. It's not just about brain growth. These oils are affecting brain function in a way that makes everyday tasks more challenging for both kids and adults. If the oils most of us use daily are potentially harming our brains, what should we be using instead? The good news is, there are several alternatives that not only taste great, but also support better brain health and overall wellness. Extra Virgin Olive Oil Olive oil has been a staple in the Mediterranean diet for centuries and for good reason. It's rich in monounsaturated fats which have been shown to support brain health and reduce inflammation. Unlike seed oils, it doesn't contain high levels of linoleic acid. Opt for extra virgin olive oil, which is less processed and retains more of its natural antioxidants. It's ideal for salad dressings, light sautéing and drizzling over vegetables. Avocado oil. Avocado oil is another excellent option. It's packed with healthy monounsaturated fats and has a high smoke point, making it great for cooking at higher temperatures. Plus, it's rich in vitamin E, which can help protect your brain from oxidative stress. Use it for grilling, frying, or roasting vegetables. Grass-fed butter or ghee. Butter and ghee, when sourced from grass-fed cows, contain essential brain-supporting nutrients like butyrate and conjugated linoleic acid CLA. Ghee, which is clarified butter, has a higher smoke point than regular butter and is suitable for sautéing and frying. These fats were traditionally used in cooking long before vegetable oils entered the scene. Coconut oil. Coconut oil is high in saturated fats, specifically medium-chain triglycerides MCTs, which provide a quick source of energy for the brain. MCTs are metabolized differently than other fats, making them a great fuel source that doesn't interfere with DHA absorption. Coconut oil is ideal for baking and high heat cooking. Macadamia nut oil. Though not as common, macadamia nut oil is a powerhouse of monounsaturated fats and has a mild buttery flavor. It's low in omega-6 fats, making it a safer option for brain health. Use it in dressings or for drizzling over your favorite dishes. By replacing seed oils with these healthier alternatives, you're not just switching up your cooking routine, you're making a conscious choice to protect your brain health and cognitive function for the long term. The story of seed oils is much bigger than most of us realize. They were never intended for human consumption. Their widespread use is the result of industrial processing and aggressive marketing, not health science. And now, after decades of being told that these oils are good for us, we're finally beginning to see the consequences. The rise of heart disease, the drop in IQ, and the decline in brain health, all may be connected to this cheap, profitable oil that's taken over our food supply. So, if you care about your brain, your children's health, and your future, it's time to rethink what you're cooking with. It's time to take back control over the fats you eat and protect your brain from a century-long dietary experiment gone wrong.